YouTube, it's the Brick Adjuster here with another LEGO tutorial. Today I'm going to go through all the tips and tricks to feel through the blind bags of the Ninjago Movie CMX to find which ones you will want and to find which ones you're looking for. So here it is, enjoy! So here's the first tip, I would have a copy of a picture of all the collectible minifigures in front of you while you're feeling the packs. If you don't have the actual physical paper, maybe you can pull it up on your phone if you're in the stores. And just so you know which minifigures have which accessories, so that makes it so much easier when you're feeling the packs. Another tip is to know how the legs feel, how the torsos feel, how the head feels, because all the minifigures have these items, so you can kind of rule them out, just ignore them, look for the accessories. However, Garmadon does have two torsos, so if you feel that, you know it's Garmadon at least. First up, we have Kai Kendo, and his dad giveaway would have to be the two Kendo sticks for sure. This one is the only minifigure with the two Kendo sticks. We do have Garmadon that has one pull that looks like this, but this is the only one with two, so if you feel a pack that has two long sticks, you know this is Kai Kendo. You might be also able to feel the mask, kind of small, but don't get it mixed up with with this mask though, well not mask, with the hoodie of Lloyd. This one has ridges on it, but for sure look for the Kendall sticks. Next up we have Spinjitsu Training Nia. Her dad giveaway would be her swords, the two swords here. Similar to Kendall Kai or Kai Kendall with the Kendall sticks, we have two swords here. You can pretty much feel the hilt in the pack. And so if you feel two of those, you know it's her. Here we have Lloyd and his dad giveaway would have to be this big tile here. The 2x3 tile, it's the only one with a 2x3 tile. Don't get it mixed up with Flashback Garmadon though. He does have a tile as well but this is a 2x2 tile so it's a little bit smaller. So if you feel a rectangle instead of a square you know it is Lloyd. The sword, you might be able to feel the sword as well. It's a bit shorter than Nia's sword and I don't know maybe this little thing at the end. This is Master Wu. His dad giveaway would have to be the 2x3 brick. A bit bigger than the 2x3 tile of Lloyd. Plus the hat. You'll be able to feel this hat but don't get this mixed up with Garmadon's hat which is also circular but this one is I guess you can feel a little pointy there where this one's smooth. But if you feel a circular with a 2x3 brick, then you know it is Master Wu. Here we have Garmadon, one of three Garmadons that we get in this wave. His dead giveaway would have to be the hat combined with the pole. So this is the only one that comes with one pole and one hat. The hat, like I said before, is similar to Master Wu, but this one comes with a long stick. This is Jay Walker. He also comes with a stick, but this pole is not as long as Garmadon stick or Kai stick, it's a bit shorter. However, his giveaway would have to be, well I felt this clip thing, so one by one with a clip, or this. You feel this and you're like, what's this? And you can also feel for this tile, so there's lots of little accessories here to feel for. The scarf, maybe you might feel the scarf too. Here we have Lloyd Garmadon. This one's a little bit tricky because he does come with a bowl, you'll be able to feel the bowl for sure, and the spoon. However, Volcano Garmadon also comes with a bowl and a spoon. So, it's kind of tricky. However, Lloyd does come with this hoodie accessory that you might be able to feel because it's a bit rough on the edges here. Plus, it's only one torso where Garmadon comes with two torsos. So, a little bit tricky, but easy to do. Here is coal, and coal's really easy. Right away you'll feel the boom box. This, uh, I guess it's a one by three brick with a little handle here, but the boom box right away you'll feel that and you'll know that it is coal. Here is Mikaso. She's also kind of easy. We have her little purse here. Don't mistake this for the boom box. It's a little bit shorter, but you'll feel this. You'll feel like a little box plus little edge here at the end. And then you'll know that that's the purse of Mikaso. Next up is Zane. And the dead giveaway for me was actually the hairpiece. It's the only thing that feels round here with, I guess, the little bottom. 
You might also be able to feel for the backpack. I didn't feel the backpack. I felt the hair right away and I knew it was Zane. But the backpack is kind of distinguishable. You have a 90 degree angle here, something coming out. So, for the only thing that looks like this, I mean, feels like this. Here is the Shark Army General. She's pretty easy as well. This was actually the first one that I felt. And I felt this, her smoothie cup. So you'll feel a cylinder, but a little sharp edge or sharp uh, top, a little pointy there. And then you'll know for sure that that is the sippy cup or smoothie cup. And that this is the general, the Shark Army General. Okay, now for the Shark Armies. This is the Shark Army Octopus. All the Shark Army guys are kind of tricky because they all have these squishy heads that they're big and bulky, but you don't know which one's which. They all come with fishes, and you'll be, you'll be able to feel the fish, but they all have fishes. So the one to distinguish this guy would have to be the gun. I felt this gun piece right away. Or if you feel studs, it's the only one with three studs. But definitely the gun, if you feel the gun, plus a big bulky... Well, actually, if you just feel the gun, you'll know it's... Here is the Shark Army Angler. He's again another tricky one because all these head pieces feel the same. But he's the only one with this spiky ball with a mace. And it's kind of squishy, so don't think it's something that's plastic. It's, it's rubbery, so you'll feel like a squishy, spiky ball. You'll feel this pole too. And of course the fish, but there's three of them with fishes. And here is the Shark Army Great White. And again, he's tricky like the other Shark Army guys because all the head pieces. However, this head piece is plastic, not rubbery. And you do come, it does come with a scuba tank here. And you can easily feel the scuba tank. So if you feel the scuba tank, you know for sure that it is the Shark Army Great White. You might be able to feel the flame too, but the fish, there's three with fishes, so don't rely on the fish. Rely on, for this one, the scuba tank. I would do that. Here is Flashback Garmadon, another one of the three Garmadons. However, this one's pretty easy. Right away, if you feel the camera, I felt the camera right away. And so this is pretty easy to feel. It's a little box with a little handle. There is a stud here, but don't mix it up with the octopus guy, because he comes with studs as well. But this one also comes with a 2x2 tile and don't mix this one up with Loy that comes with a 2x3. It's a bit smaller than the 2x3. But definitely the camera. This is what I felt right away, the camera. This is Volcano Garmadon. He's a little bit tricky just because you might mix him up with Lloyd Garmadon because they both come with bowls and they both come with spoons. However, we have two torsos here, so if you feel a bowl and spoon and two torsos, you know it is Garmadon, plus the hat. The hat is kind of distinguishable. You'll get these little smooth pieces here. So, it's a little bit tricky, but doable for Volcano Garmadon. Here is Gong and Guitar Rocker. His dad giveaway would have to be the guitar for sure. You'll feel a, a flat piece here with um, a long pole coming out of it. And you'll know for sure that that is the guitar for the gong and guitar rocker. Here is the GPL tech. Her dead giveaway for me anyways was the mug. I felt the mug right away. You'll feel a cylinder and something coming out. You might be able to feel this too, the suitcase. And the hair actually. It's the only one with this long ponytail and it's pretty easy to feel for that. But for me, it was the mug. So many things to look for for this girl. Here is the Sushi Chef, and the dad giveaway for me was the cleaver. So you'll feel something flat, a little thing coming out. You might be able to feel the one by one round tiles. There's two of them. Or even the cylinder. You might be able to feel that. I think it's the only one with a cylinder. But the cleaver, the cleaver was my dad giveaway. Maybe yours. And lastly, we have the End Pop Girl. She's pretty easy as well. Right away, if you feel the Harley Quinn hair, you know it's her. You'll feel two things coming out. You might be able to feel the bear, possibly. But for sure, you'll feel the tutu. It's the only flat, round thing. But look for Harley Quinn hair. It's big, bulky. 
So this concludes the LEGO tutorial for today. This is the Brick Adjuster signing off. Thanks for watching and we will see you guys in another video. Bye.